Hello fam and welcome to our channel, Dale Chanel's 48th World, where we're featuring a family affair. Okay, that's you and I together. Yes, all right. Got another interesting article. Like I said, I was going to bring it out for my last Kenya Moore article. We got BT over here. Staff, we've written by a staff BT writer. They titled their article, they are trying to, well, I'm sorry, the surprising restriction Kenya Moore puts out on Mark Daly's custody visits. Now, my last video, she was praising this joker, supporting his business, telling other people to go out there and support the business of Daly, Mark Daly, that is, her estranged ex-husband, soon to be. I don't know if it's fake, foolery, fuckery, fraudulent, shitty activity going on in Kenya's uh, mind of hers. And she's trying to goop her twirlers. Because she ain't gooping half of my family over here at the family affair. We see, we know, we see, we know. Okay? About Kenya's activity and how she gets down and lie. And put a stage set of a performance out there for people to partake of we don't know who this lady is we showed on she showed so many faces so many demeanors and personalities we just don't know okay we like what we like we see what we see and it just is what it is okay but anyway we going into the article it says the drama between real housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore and her husband Mark Daly continues to get ugly the reality tv stars are in the middle of a divorce uh, while trying to co-parent their daughter, Brooklyn Doris Daly. However, Mark uh, Moore says Daly is no longer, let me repeat that. However, Mar uh, Moore says Daly is no longer allowed in her home. Now, she's sitting up there on the other video I told you all. Y'all can go because I told you where you can get your research done. If you didn't believe what I was saying, what was written up on her. She's trying to promote his business, but in this article, I'm giving y'all as a video She's trying to tell him he can't come to her house. <laughs> the shade and the hypocrisy all in one. Okay, that's my sidebar. Not in this article. But going back to the article, it says, however, Moore says Daly is no longer allowed in her home. In a preview of Sunday's episode, Moore said, I just don't know how to even make the visitation work. Yes, he can see her whenever he comes here. She also added, he could not come to her house. No, I don't want him to stay here. Okay. Moore, unfortunately, hasn't gotten very much sympathy from her castmate, Nene Leakes, who told people on March 2nd, what goes around comes around. And Kenya had this coming. She has in interfered with other girls on the show's relationships. Years ago, when Phaedra Parks was married to Apollo Nida, Kenya was playing around with the whole situation. And then this year, she brings another woman in front of Tanya Sam, saying that Tanya's man, Paul Judge, cheated. Trying to do something to their relationship. She also added plus. She has discussed me and my relationship in the past. So now that your relationship has crumbled. Good. You deserve it. All right. Mark Daly and Kenya Moore tied the knot in June of 2017. Gave birth to their daughter Brooklyn on November 4th, 2018. And then the couple split in 2019. And that's all BT had to say, y'all. It was short, quick, fast, and a hurry. So y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this short little uh, presentation of an article written up by a staff writer at BT. They ain't give us a lot to go on, but they tried to play off on Kenya saying one thing in them social media streets and doing another one on them social media streets. Okay, like I said, good or bad, press is press. But what y'all think about um, Kenya Moore over there calling herself fam, promoting her soon to be ex, as she say, uh, Mark Daly's business when she's just been over here crying all of season 12 on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Her storyline was Ma don't like her, Ma don't treat her right, Ma want a divorce. I want my marriage, but y'all just don't know how Mark treat me behind closed doors. He mentally abuses me, dollar dee, dollar da, hinting that he might be throwing her up against the wall, allegedly. Okay, so she's trying to put all this spin of a narrative she's creating for Mark's personality and persona, and she's trying to give it a little bit of here and there, doing taping of the Real Housewives of Atlanta with the whole. Wimbush House 
event scene. And she's wanting people to gravitate to what she wants to put out on this man. But he's supposed to be such a loving and caring husband when he wants to be. Such a loving and caring currently good father to baby Brooklyn. And he has all these different things going on with his restaurant. But not one time she come out, can you? Uh, when you were sitting up there. Or when the media was sitting up there tearing him up about his business having rodents, uh, meaning rats and, and other little articles in there, insects like roaches running around his so-called so -called restaurant business. You didn't say nothing about that. You didn't come in and say, uh, that wasn't true. This is not going on in my uh, husband's restaurant business you didn't come out and say anything can you you just let it have and let the media have and and just going on and on and on degrading your husband as well as your husband's business as the legacy he's trying to leave for baby brooklyn when he definitely got other children out there that they gonna come before brooklyn because they were here before her <laughs> you know what i'm saying it probably be split uh, split three ways or whatnot depending on how he set it up but you don't know too much about that because he said you ain't good at setting up your own business. Uh huh. Can you help hair care products? He had to help you with that, can you? So I don't know. I don't know the degradation you got going on for this man, and then the inspiration, uplifting moments you have for this man is putting a strain on your team twirlers. Okay, it's putting a strain on them because see, you ain't upset me not one bit because I see how the cookie falls from your plate. Okay, I see what you serving up, and that's bullshit all day, every day. Okay, baby, but now it's up to my family to get back with me in those comments to tell me what they felt what they thought about this foolery going on that you're providing for uh the people that love watching you fans fan favorites however you look at your people that support you i don't know team twirlers okay are you really giving them the real truth or you're acting on your acting abilities okay which one is it kenya which one is it all right fam y'all get down in them comments let me know what y'all thought about this particular subject matter video i put out okay for us to both partake of and make our opinions on yes okay tell me what you think 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 okay but anyway i'll see y'all next video don't forget to subscribe like and share our videos okay bye bye or i should say see you later stay safe